Hey, what's up YouTube? Down the Fix It Man. Got another quick video here for you. This is just a quick review video. This company, eDiag, just sent me this little OBD2 scan tool, little code reader, model YA201. And uh, they just sent this to me in exchange for an honest review, and I just thought I'd plug it into a vehicle and see if we can read any codes or see what kind of functions it, it's got. So let's just get it plugged in to the uh, OBD port. Your OBD port is usually just underneath the dash on your driver's side of most vehicles. And that's just a little port. Just plug that in. It's a Land Rover Discovery 2004. You do need to turn the ignition on. And we do have a code that keeps coming on here. I think the check engine light is off right now. The owner turned it off. So it's probably not going to give us any readings on that. But I still want to just show you the tool and how this works. Basic functions, just the OK button and then the back button and then up or down to select. So here we've got diagnosis, uh, diagnostic trouble code lookup, battery, and then settings. So we'll just, we're gonna hit diagnostics first, or diagnosis, and this will load. It's a nice, easy to read screen, it's nice and big. All right, so check engine light is off, but we can hit okay, and hit okay on the first module there. And you see it's asking us if we wanna read codes, erase codes, or some of these other options here, live data, freeze frame, vehicle info, IM readiness, uh, mode six, O2 sensor test, or component test. Now, some of these features, they don't look like they work or they're not uh, applicable for this scanner or maybe for this vehicle. I did want to do an O2 sensor test. They're all listed on here, all four oxygen sensors, but if I click on that, it says the selected mode is not supported. So that's not something we're able to do on this with this scanner right now. But we can check the IM readiness or the inspection monitor readiness. Now this car has had a check engine light and it was recently turned off by the owner because they're having some issues with the P1170 and P1173 codes coming on. And the codes are indicating that the sensors, the oxygen sensors downstream of the catalytic converters are out of range. Now that doesn't mean that the sensors are bad. We may have some other issues with the catalytic converters or a vacuum leak on the intake or a PCV line that's plugged. So we're gonna further diagnose this, but I just wanted to see if we could read any codes. And right now they're not showing up because we haven't completed the drive cycle. So it's showing that the catalyst or the catalytic converter has not completed, neither has the EVAP. That's why they're a red X rather than a green check mark. Well, let's go back here. We may just have to drive this vehicle some more. But if we hit read codes, stored codes, no codes are stored in this module. So we don't have a check engine light right now or, or malfunction indicator lamp. Let's see if anything's pending. Still nothing pending. So we probably do need to complete that drive cycle in order for those codes to come back. This also has a nice feature here of live data. Press and hold the OK button here for all the information. And there you go, you can just kind of go through here. It's showing diagnost diagnostic trouble codes. There are none shown. Malfunction indicator lamp or check engine light is off. Uh, it's got some fuel system codes, all kinds of other things down here. your long and short term fuel trims, which is nice. The RPMs, vehicle speed, spark advance, uh, the intake air temperature, the uh, mass airflow sensor. You know what we'll do? Let's go ahead and, and uh, let's turn the vehicle on while we have this plugged in and see if we can at least verify a few of these that are, that are working. So let's turn on the car. Our RPMs are up to 783. And the uh, mass airflow sensor, you can see that that's changing. If, if I step on the gas, you can see that that goes up there as well. Throttle position, same thing, that will change if you let go. Or if you, the gas pedal goes down to zero. Lots of things on here, lots of options. And let's get back out of here. Let's see if we can graph that. Let's just do the uh, the RPMs. Hit OK and then hit back. And right now it's at 722, 730. And if you step on the gas pedal, you can see that it goes up. This kind of snaps back down. Pretty responsive. Intake air temperature. 
I don't imagine that'll change too much, but that's just the temperature of the air coming into the intake. And let's exit out of this. Oh, you know what? Let's just check this battery module here. That's just a graph showing your voltage on the battery. That's nice to have. 13.9, 14 volts. It looks like it's got a few other modules in here as well. I'd have to play around with this a little bit more, and I'm sure I will. But just as far as a quick review, I would recommend this. It's a, a nice, inexpensive way to figure out what's going on with your vehicle, at least, at least what codes are triggered, and that helps you diagnose and figure out certain problems. And, you know, for how inexpensive these are, to buy one of these for each vehicle, keep it in the glove box. If you're out and, out and about, it's just so nice to be able to diagnose something or figure out what kind of problem you're having if you do get a check engine light when you're out on the road. Or if you just needed to diagnose your battery voltage or kind of see what's going on. You may not have a voltmeter with you, but you can plug this in and it will tell you the actual voltage of the battery. Even that alone is valuable. In my case, I've got some kids away in college. It's really nice to give them one of these and take it with them, and then they can call me if they're having issues and at least I can figure out where to direct them even remotely if they can at least just get me the codes and let me know what's going on. So looks like it's got, like I said, a few extra features. I haven't quite nailed this down yet, but I'll play around with it a little bit more. I'll update the video if I have any issues with it, but from what I can see right now, looks like one that I will use. I'll keep this in one of the vehicles and be able to, to keep track of what's going on and any issues that we have. I hope you liked the video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you don't mind. That does help me out. I'll get a link in the description where you can pick this scanner up as well. Thanks so much for watching and good luck.